The function y minus 3 equals 2 fifths x plus 1 will go through which point on the following graph? We have four points here, a, b, c, d. Now if I rewrite this equation as y minus 3 equals 2 fifths x, I'm going to distribute here, plus 2 fifths. I can simply add 3 to both sides and we have plus 3. Now 3 here is going to be the same thing as 15 over 5. So if I rewrite this, we have y equals 2 fifths x plus, I'm going to add these numerators, 17 over 5. So using our calculator, we have 17 divided by 5 is 3.4. So this here is the y-intercept. y-intercept of 3.4 is 1, 2, 3. Approximately here, this is the y-intercept. Whereas this part here, 2 fifth, this is the slope. A slope of 1 is 45 degrees. A slope of 0 is flat. A slope of 2 is pretty steep. A slope of 2, two fifth is a little bit kind of flat like this, but still increasing since it's positive. So the only viable point that's going to go through this is point A. So we know that point A is the answer. To confirm this algebraically, we can actually plug in point A. Here is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here the coordinate for point A is going to be an x value of 9, and the y value would be 5, 6, 7, would be 7, 9 comma 7 would be the coordinate of A. If we plug it in, if indeed this point is on this line equation, the uh, by plugging in these x and y values, we should have this equality hold true. So this is our x value, this is our y value, the y value is, is 7. So looking at this nice equation here, we should be able to plug it in and confirm that left side equals right side. So the y value is 7, 7, does it equal 2 fifth x, the x value being 9, plus 17 over 5? So does 7 equals 2 times 9 is 18, 18 fifth over 17 fifth? So what we have here is 17 plus 18, which is 35, 35 over 5 and then 35 divided by 5 is 7. So yes, 7 equals 7, left side equals right side. So this point A actually is on this line equation, is on this line, so the answer is A.